ones I came up with was if you were going to come up with the best robots ever in the history of robots is our uh, Crow T Robot and uh, Tom Servo from Mystery Science Theater. Those are the best <laughs> robots. What good is he, though, other than critiquing movies? They're hilarious, so it's okay. Uh, if I went outside of that, like, I couldn't not get dorky on it. Like, I was thinking, it was like, I like batteries not included. And I guess Johnny Five was pretty cool from Short Circuit. Yeah, Johnny Five. <laughs> and I just rewatched those two movies. I didn't, I guess when I was a kid, I only remembered, like, the beginning of the first Short Circuit and the rest of Short Circuit 2. Because I totally turned those into one movie. I just remember that he was Johnny Five and he kicked some ass at the end. And that was actually I, the second one. I don't know if your childhood was anything like mine, but I remember growing up, I had in my house a box of VHS tapes. Well, yeah. yeah. And so, like, there was, like, these were the movies that my family owned, and one of them was Short Circuit 2. So I probably saw Short Circuit 2 a I dozen, it till like, recently. many dozens of times, just because it was one of the few movies that we had in my house. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, VHS, like, I think I own the Disney movies, like, a bunch of them for some reason. Like, my mom bought them when I was younger. But actual other movies, I own Jurassic Park. And I think we got Star Wars and Indiana Jones movies at some point. We watched those. Oh, see, you sound like you had really good movies. <laughs> like we had, we had Short Circuit Two. I think one of the movies I had was uh, well, one of them was Back to the Future, which was a good. You know, I yeah, like Back to one. the Future. One of them was a movie called uh, Dead Again, which was a really like oh, psychological. Oh, that badass! Thriller. That's that movie with Kenneth Branagh. We're like. It's all about your past lives. It's one way, yeah, where like people were like reincarnated as yeah, other people. Yeah, I love that movie. I have that on the It's a, it's a good movie. I'm, I won't knock it. But I'm just saying it's it's, it's hard I'm to I, actually. I think you're the only other person I've ever talked to who remembers it. <laughs> I really like that movie. I kind of want to watch it again. <laughs> it is a good movie. I did have some good ones, but I remember that the only reason we had like Star Wars and Indiana Jones was like my grandma bought them for my brother, and and when she got he got those, he was a little kid, so he got like three ninjas kick back and mm. getting even with dad with macaulay culkin or some <laughs> bullshit and those were really bad my dad like, was I... a big star wars fan i remember i went and saw with my dad i went and saw all three star wars movies Especially when they re-released them things. yeah i saw all three in the same day <laughs> hell yeah i watched them it wasn't until the last maybe two or three years that i officially was like Fuck Star Wars. I'm pissed at that shit. Where I finally got to where those prequels got to me. And I was like, no, I don't. I, I, you killed it, George. Sorry. I'm not watching this anymore. I don't. I don't knock the sequels as much as everybody else does. I, I, don't. I didn't mind the concept. It was really just the tying in of them. Where it was like, in the third one, they say shit like, oh, Yoda's friends with Chewbacca. And it's like, why? Why the fuck are they friends? That doesn't even make sense. And, you know, oh, Boba Fett's in it, but he's a little kid, and Django Fett's his dad. See, they're the same. It's like, fuck you, don't tie it in. Give me new shit that's different. I'll be happy. Eh, eh cause I can see that, but, you know, I mean, they, I guess they kind of got to do that stuff. I, I thought I, the well, movies see, were entertaining, and prequels, that's all I can ask for. I don't know. I liked the first one. That was the only one I was okay with, because it didn't blow you to make you love the other. Like, that's what the other two do. They're just well, like, see, hey, that's, see that's this, a see really this. weird opinion. Because I think that most people would say that they got better with each movie. Oh, I think they got worse because they tried so damn hard to please you by tying everything up. And it makes mm -hmm. it make it makes it less cool. Because I think Star episode Wars 3 universe, was the best one. Oh, well, that one's the shiniest and it has the coolest stuff in it. But it it's almost completely ruined for me by going to the the like Chewbacca people planet kashik of the wookies that was so dumb and it was it served no purpose it was just like we got wookies like that's good not good enough and that's where they go like oh chewbacca you're my friend i'm going to dagobah it's like why the fuck did he tell chewie that that doesn't make sense and it was like all that kind of stuff just ruins it for me where the first episode one yeah jar jar sucks but the rest of it, it's so far removed from Star Wars that it's still interesting. It's like, oh, it's a different universe, and we're dealing with different shit. That's cool. 
And then that's what I liked. Although my favorite thing about the Star Wars prequels that they spend all this time telling us that Tatooine is the most random out in the middle of nowhere world. Five of the six movies take place there. <laughs> that's just weird. And the best one doesn't take place there. Mm -hmm.